The Chief of Defense Staff, General Yankuba Drame, said, as the Gambia Armed Forces is undergoing tremendous growth and revival in order to respond to evolving and challenging security environment and dynamics against the backdrop is a need for a good leadership at all commands cannot be overemphasized. Your Excellency, as you know, the Gambia Armed Forces is undergoing tremendous growth and revival in order to respond to the ever-evolving and challenging security environment and dynamics. Against this backdrop, the need for effective leadership at all levels of command cannot be overemphasized. Allow me to further assert that the categories of rank to be decorated today are carefully selected based on merit vis-a-vis -vis the absolute need of filling specific gaps within the rank structures of the Gambia Armed Forces. Your Excellency, allow me to run through down the process of this exam. This particular promotion is one that was conducted in accordance with a combination of certain principles and structures, procedures, including promotional exams in order to fill certain vacancies in the command structures of the armed forces. CDS outlined the categories of ranks decorated are carefully selected based on merits within the rank structures of the Gambia Armed Forces. He added that moving the armed forces forward, leadership must be prepared to take what he called tough decisions. Your Excellency, moving the armed forces forward, leadership must be prepared to take what I call tough decisions. Decisions usually when they are taken, it may favor some, it may not favor others. However, it is my strong conviction for us to move the armed forces to the next level, to fulfill the dreams and aspirations of Gambians, we must be prepared to take what I call bold decisions that is geared towards enhancing the professional competence and capabilities of the armed forces. This promotion exam, Your Excellency, is one concrete step taken by the armed forces to streamline those who would eventually be at the top. In the military, there is a saying. Much are invited to join the military, but only few eventually will rise to the top. Much desire to join. However, only few individuals should be at the top to run the military. Why is it so? It's a pyramid. Much were called to join, but eventually only few would be at the top. And this exercise, Your Excellency, is in preparation to have the right people at the top to rule these armed forces. The promotion exams, like any other cherries, doctrines, or whatever you call it, even the Holy Quran and the Bible. Yes, these are divine revelations. However, from indications, not everybody would wholeheartedly embrace the teachings and practices as contained in these divine books. This year, Your Excellency, this is the best promotion exam we've ever held in the armed forces. CDS drama highlighted that it is not going to be business as usual. Promotions in the military will be based on merits and his office will continue to feature trainings and retraining programs that will enhance professionalism and regimentation so that they can take the armed forces to the next level. Those who attempted overall was 106 officers. 106 officers attempted these exams. Out of 106, only 63 passed. What does that denote? We are saying, henceforth, it is not going to be business as usual. Promotions in the military would be based strictly on merits. You deserve it, you go. You don't deserve it, you will not go.
of course, you will be given an opportunity to do it for the second term and the third term. That will determine your fate in the military. What is more important, what is the strategic end state? Where do we want to reposition the military? What is the desire of you and I? How do we want to represent the armed forces given the challenges we face? The answer is very obvious. We have to set for ourselves standards. And vigorously we pursue those standards. I want to believe if it is a collective effort, we can achieve excellence in the military. Henceforth, it is going to be the standard. General Drame finally said to the deserving officers that their ranks is not a mere decoration, rather it's an individual responsibility and challenges, and he has no doubt that with their individual competence, they will live to expectations. Excellency, we've been able to decorate those who've been promoted to the rank of a lieutenant colonel. Given your busy schedule, we do not want to label you with all the others. The rest, this afternoon, we are going to decorate them at the Joint Officers' Mess so that they can rejoice and celebrate with their loved ones. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in line with the security sector process, the armed, Gambia Armed Forces will continue to inculcate promote and sustain the drive of intellectual and professional development of house serving members. Through the numerous local and international training opportunities that we are accorded by our training partners, including international partners. It is our strong conviction that training is the mainstay of any organization. And the Gambia Armed Forces is not an exception to this strong cherries believed. In the military, training is most essential to the Armed Forces in the execution of our prescribed roles and functions. Without training, it would be difficult to adequately respond to the needs and aspirations of our Gambians. Given the importance of training, my office will continue to feature training and retraining programs that enhance professionalism and regimentation so that we can catapult or take the armed forces to where we want the armed forces to be. That is to say the next level. And much is required of them as they climb to another platform that will determine how they will progress in the military. So those of you promoted today, Allow me to state to whom much is given, much is expected in return. In other words, your rank today is not a mere decoration, but rather it's an additional responsibility and challenges. In other words, promotion is always associated with challenges and additional responsibility. I trust you are aware of the challenges and responsibility that accompany your new, your new ranks. I have no doubt, given the individual competence, you would live up to expectations. Remember, once you've been promoted, we expect a lot in return from you. In terms of behavior, in terms of comportment, in terms of your professional upbringing, in terms of how you deal with your subordinate, and not only that, how you interact with people outside uniforms. To be more precise, your brothers and sisters outside uniform. Much is required of you today because you've climbed another platform that would determine how you progress in the military. How you handle this responsibility will determine the subsequent cause, cause of actions, more so when you move towards becoming senior members of the armed forces. Aisa Tukoli, Gambian Talents TV.